I'm Teresa Moore Griffin with more practical tips to help you live and lead with a spirit of purpose. Over the course of my life, I've restricted the flow of my creativity. I've done so in numerous ways, by not laughing and playing enough, by always being serious, by being appropriate and well-mannered, always too conventional, by resisting the whisperings of intuition and the gut feeling or guidance of spirit, that energy that animates all of us. Over the years, I uncovered another way I've crimped the full and free flow of my creativity as expressed through my wants and desires. I've curtailed my wants and desires and ambitions to diminish my sense of being different. I did so to feel comfortable, to fit in with those around me. I lived on the fringe, hiding out, trying to appear average, normal, one of the crowd, and certainly not be labeled too much, too ambitious. If I verbalize an intention of landing a big contract, redefining the work I do, redecorating my home, buying a new car, or taking an extended vacation to a new and exciting place, those around me would sometimes talk in ways that sounded like they were chastising or correcting me. Their message, you're so blessed and fortunate, what more do you want? It sounded like a question, but it wasn't really a request for information. It was a transmittal of information, a clear message that said, don't be so greedy, you already have enough. Don't want so much. For a long time, I felt embarrassed and guilty about my endless string of desires, ambitions, and ideas for things I wanted to try out, ways to improve in my life and in the world around me. Whenever I think maybe they're right, even for a moment, I compromise my flow and dam up my creative channels. Nowadays, what occurs to me is, no, they are not right. They can't be right about my life, only their own. I'm the authority in my life. I remind myself to ignore their criticism and unwarranted guidance. No longer do I allow their limiting lies to become mine. I have a choice. I choose to use my power to give birth to the gifts and glorious ideas that flow into my awareness. I take center stage in my life and call forth my creativity to make all that I touch better for me and I hope for others. For more about this, read Lies That Limit, Uncover the Truth of Who You Really Are. For more videos, podcasts, and articles that will help you uncover your passion and live according to your unique purpose, visit my website, spiritofpurpose.com. You can also subscribe to my Office Talk podcast on iTunes or to my video channel on YouTube. I'm Teresa Moore Griffin. Thank you for watching.